Welcome to Chrome Face 52 Transformer Review. And today we have for you a gem straight from Big Lots. The Quick Change Robot System Robot Fighter Construction. Yeah, look at this thing. With the, its arm and its little leg. And this keeping pile of debris is from the original G1 mold. Just with dollar store plastic. Now, first you may think that this is a G2, but really his color scheme is more reminiscent of the original Diaclones with the black accessories and whatnot. But uh, before I break this guy, let's go ahead and send him over to Pitch Shifter and let him uh, break down the uh, individuals for you. Hi everyone, let's take a look at these guys individually here. So, first up, we have Hook. Now Hook has a special place because he was the only G1 I had as a little bot. I know. As you can see, he's just solid yellow plastic. Uh, not much to it there, so... Um, he does have the... the the center joint but he has one foot so one advantage he does have over his G1 counterpart is he can't risk breaking his leg off like I did in the parking lot outside of Walmart but hey, we got a little blaster I think these are three millimeter peg there that, and he can hold it and it'll work it's actually not a bad cheap little blaster that will work with your three millimeter guys next up we have scavenger and he actually does have a little bit of articulation um, up here in the hook. The bucket uh, doesn't, but you know he's got an elbow joint basically. Um, no wheels, but you know I don't think the G1 did either. So his legs are a little flimsy, but uh, it is kind of awkward with this spinning thing there. And, his, his arms come out. Uh, really, the only the only difference here between uh, our authentic ones is the the head doesn't fold down. It's just solid there. But uh, his feet do turn out, so he can kind of stand. Um, you do need to use the bucket to help support. Otherwise, he will fall. But he might fall anyway, but he does stand there for a little bit. And here is Scrapper. He actually wheels and rolls really well. Uh, the canopy actually comes off like it should. Uh, he does only have one foot, but that's alright. Um, he, I do believe he is the highest quality of all of these, um, but his head doesn't fold down and his bucket has no articulation, just one hinge on the body. So it's kind of hard to balance him out, so kind of have to leave the bucket up above his head for him to really stand, otherwise he'll fall back. You can lean him up against something, but against the wall there. But his blaster does, uh, well, doesn't really fit very well in his hand. So we're just not even going to worry about that. But those are some nice wheels, though. And here we have a long haul, which doesn't seem to want to stay together there. He just wants to flap down, just doesn't stay in truck mode there. He does have uh, separate feet though. So he's got that going for him. Um, does not have hands. You know, all these guys, they just have a single piece for the arms. So there's no no real hands there. He's just got, you know, he has hands, but they're stumpy arms with, with hands. And he does have a folding head. He's the only one whose head actually folds in. So and he stands pretty well for himself. And now we have Mixmaster. And this blaster will go into Mixmaster's top there. 
did and all his ports just fine uh, his single leg is kind of flimsy but so one foot doesn't really do much his hands just fold out he will hold the blaster though um, per the box he is the one that does hold this blaster there so him and Hook are the two that uh, have the blasters and finally we have Bone Crusher rolling on in here with his hinged canopy and not hinged head but hey what are you going to do so it's probably the most awkward because he has no sticker decals and his arms are one solid piece so they just kind of hang out there awkwardly his feet fold up like they're supposed to but his plow doesn't actually ever do anything so just hard time positioning him uh, getting his arms are flabby there's no real good way to position Thanks, Mitchie. And there you have it. The individual construction quick change robot system robot fighter. Tune in next week to see the devastating results of this combination. Till then, while we run a week, Nitty Bottom.